In this video, we will look at integrating live action with WebTeller. LiveNX from LiveAction is a visualization and analytics engine that can inject network generated metadata from devices, which in our case is IPFIX from WebTeller VHS. LiveAction provides network topology, end to end real time monitoring, along with path control visualization and reporting. To integrate live action with WebTeller, we will configure the SNMP on our VHS and create a CFLOW-D policy to enable NetFlow and finally bind it to a data policy matching interstate traffic to be subjected to the CFLOW records. So let's begin. To enable SNMP, let's edit the templates that we have assigned to a VHS. So let's go to templates and let's edit our VH Cloud template which is assigned to a VHS. Let's go to additional templates. There's a SNMP template and let's create a new SNMP template. Let's call this SNMP. Uh, let's make it SNMP RO. Let's make it no shutdown and a global parameter. So let's come down. We're going to use SNMP version V2. So let's add a view. So let's name this view as v2, which is again a global parameter. And let's add our OIDs. And in this case, I'm just going to add 1.3.6.1, which is a general OID for SNMP. So let's go ahead and click Add. So let's add a view here. Now let's go to Community and create a new community. So it's a name of the community is Cisco. Authorization is read only. And the view is V2, which we just created. So let's go ahead and click Add. So that's our SNMP policy template and save. So that's our SNMP template. So let's hit an update. And it will update all the four VHS that's been configured to use this template. Yes, the templates have been successfully pushed. Let's go now create a policy. Let's add a policy. Let's create a site and let's name this site 1234 and include 1, 2, 3, and 4 sites. Let's hit next. We don't need topology, so click next. Here, let's create our CFLOW-D policy. Let's go ahead and add our policy. Let's call this live action. So I'm going to leave these things to its default. Let's add our collector. Uh, this will be VPN zero. That's where the live action is reachable. The address is 666.223. Port is 2055, the transport protocol as UDP. I'm going to source this from GE0 slash 0. That's it. Let's save it. Let's now add our data policy. Let's go ahead and add a new policy. Let's call this all traffic. So let's add a sequence, which is a custom policy. Let's add a rule and we'll match basically nothing so it's matching everything and then we're going to subject it to c flow d that's it save the policy and then change the default action to accept and save our data policy so we have a data policy as well as the c flow d policy so let's go ahead and click next and assemble this policy let's call this live action policy let's go to traffic data add our site list and vpn list and let's source it from all so this both tunnel service site list is site one two three four which we just created and the vpn would be the corporate vpn so let's hit and similarly let's go to cflow d and add our site list 
purchase again site one two three four nuggets let's click add so let's preview our policy so that's it it's basically matching all traffic it's subjecting it to cflow d now the cflow d template is something called as live action which is the collector interface and on what port it talks to the collector and these are the list and it's applied to the vpn and it's again applied as a data policy and the cflow d template let's save let's go ahead and activate this policy now It's done. So we have completed all the configurations that's needed from a vManage perspective. Let's go and create uh, our configurations on live action. So, so to save time, I already installed live action. So let's go ahead and just start live action. Let me log into the console. So let's start live action by discovering our devices. Let me add the IP ranges of those devices. So 666.11 to 14 would be your controllers and 192.168.60.0 to 14 will be our V edges. And here we're gonna use the community string that we passed, which is Cisco. Let's hit okay and let it discover the devices. And there we have discovered all the devices. Let's go ahead and add them. And let's just do some rearrangement of these devices so that it shows us a proper topology. So let me move all the controller elements on the left hand side. So we manage the V bond, the V smart. And and the VHS. So three, two. Four and one. Now let me add a few network objects for MPLS and Internet Cloud or private one and private cloud. So let's call me this call this as private one. And let me add the interface addresses to it. And let me change the symbol to a network cloud. that's it all these devices are actually connected to this cloud so let's add another cloud let's call this private 2 that's all the interface IPs and change the shape to enter cloud hit ok so that's it that's the complete topology of the VHS and the V and the the controllers. Now it takes a little bit of time for the CFLOD records to get updated in Reptila. It generally takes about a minute or so. So let's go ahead and um, wait for a few minutes and then refresh the screen and see whether we are able to see some traffic uh, flowing through these devices. And there we are able to see all this traffic that is flowing between the VHS. So let's me just go and change the filter. Let me create an ad hoc filter. And let me add a few entries, one for HTTP and match on HTTP because I'm sending HTTP, FTP and Telnet traffic across these VHS. So let's let it be HTTP. Uh, let me add similarly FTP and match on FTP. And then similarly add Telnet. That's it and hit apply okay and then go ahead and hit refresh and there you see that we are able to see http ftp and telnet traffic flowing across all the vhs let's go ahead and click one of the vhs and you will be able to see all the flows that are being generated from that particular vh similarly if we go back to say another vh which is vh2 you will be able to see all the traffic that's being generated out of that VH.
you can also double click on the traffic and you will see that the traffic of TCP which is uh, HTTP port 80, FTP port uh, which is 21 and then you have telnet traffic flowing across all these devices. Thus integrating live action with Viptilla provides us with great path visualization and insights into the SD-WAN environment. That's it for this demo and thanks for watching.